Hello everyone. Hey guys, what's up? It's me Zombie. So today we are going to be talking about 10 changes that are coming to Free Fire in the new OB46. Now, um the leaks and everything, I'm going to show it to you guys differently, but these are just changes in the game that are coming to Free Fire in the new update. You guys will be able to go to the advanced server starting tomorrow, August the 16th. Um, if you're not registered, go to Free Fire uh, Advanced Server and then register and then download it and then you can play it. Um, there is one thing though, there is a new shotgun coming into the game. The M590, I think it was called. I already posted that on TikTok. So if you want to know about that new shotgun, go to TikTok. I posted it by itself. All right. So let's go ahead and start. So right now, once you're going to log into the new... Um, Free Fire update. Now it's going to be asking you about privacy settings. Uh, Garan that takes its responsibilities under applicable privacy laws and regulations seriously and is committed to respecting the privacy rights and concerns of all the users of our services. By continuing to use these services, you agree to our terms of service and consent and the processing of user data as described. Um, I'll show it to you guys again. So now you're going to be able to accept all the uh, basically privacy policies that Garen is sharing, reject them or you have more options. I didn't click the more options. So I really can't tell you what happened there. But now once you full, when the update starts, you're going to be basically shown this. It's just going to be a one-time thing and then that's it. It's basically going to go away. So that's, that was, that's kind of interesting actually. So then, uh, number two, we have profile editing now. So now I'm going to my main profile. You have a little arrow right next to the profile and now you'll be able to basically edit how you want your profile to look but you do have certain space as you can see i'm just dragging things across you can either use like battle royale stuff or clash squad stuff and then you couldn't even like transfer over like uh skins of like your favorite guns to kind of sort of show on your profile to kind of like flex on other people like yeah i got all the uh evolution guns and you don't type of like stuff so, um, basically, yeah, I don't know f for one other reason why it's coming into the game other for the fact that it's going to be flexing. So once again, you see it right on your profile, you go to the side, you click the little edit button right at the bottom, and then you just scroll things over to however you want. Like you want to show people your KD, you want people to see what kind of gun skins you have. You can do that. Um, you can do more other options like, uh, um little banners and stuff like that, but I don't have any of that. So I just went with like the gun skins that are in this advanced server and like, you know, battle royale, you know, eliminations, stuff like that. So that's number two, numero tres. Our new character, Lila, I think that's her name or Lila. I think it's Lila. So Lila, or I mean, I'm sorry, Lila <laughs> has the attack called Glue Strike. It's a passive. Uh, when hitting enemies or vehicles with rifles, reduces the enemy's movement speed by 10% or the vehicle's movement speed by 50% for three seconds. If the enemy is knocked down while decelerated, freezes them for up to three seconds, obtains one extra glue wall, and enters a 10-second skill cooldown. Unfortunately, I have not been able to show her skill. I just, it's just been really hard for me to be able to find a lobby since I have access to the advanced server before it actually opens up tomorrow. Um, but if I'm able to get some gameplay for you using uh, Lila's new um, passive attack or, you know, her ability, then I will definitely show it to you guys. I do like the character. I actually like her um, basic clothes, I guess you can say. I like the shoes. I do like the pants. I think she's cute and all. I do think, though, that we need to have, like, a little bit more variety of characters, but that's just me. But anyways, yeah, that's number three. Numero cuatro. Uh, number four, basically, is a lot of things with the social island. So it's going to be four, five, and six. So number one for the social island, you can see here. Now you'll be able to come into the social island, and you'll be able to, like, do, like, this, like, island emotes that you're you're going to be able to dance with people around here. Um, one other thing, and I think this is what you guys are going to like the most. Now you can send messages 
to your friends while being in the social island. You'll be able to invite people to the social island, message your friends in the social island. You could even re uh, recruit people in the social islands as well to be like your teammates or for any other thing that you wanna do. Now you'll be able to do that from the social island without having to leave the social island. And another thing that's coming to the social island, which I couldn't find, which is kind of difficult, I couldn't find, but I do have a friend that told me about it, is there will be like some kind of like headshot range or something with like a leaderboard. So you'll be able to see that as well. So basically, social island is four, five, and six right there. All right. So let's see. Numero siete. Number seven. Uh, I'm sorry, number seven, yes, we have the attack melee. So now we'll be able to have this attack button that you can see right there at the far right. Um, we'll be able to do this with a pen, with a katana, with other melee weapons where you'll have like this attack animation. And basically like you'll like kind of sort of like race forward and do like a hit, as you can see right there. So I'm doing it with a pen, then I go around and I do it with a katana. But you kind of sort of need to like time it correctly maybe to catch up to people that are trying to run away from you maybe um but yes yeah, so basically you'll see the button right there it'll be added to your configuration so you're gonna have to um, probably move that around but yeah so you see here i'm doing it with a katana it's all the same attack animations you can just use different melees for it so that's number seven number eight now we have a little change here for factory. As you can see, their factory now has like some snow around it and stuff like that. At first I was like, what is going on? Cause I thought it was just a decoration, but apparently it's not like, you know, the main entrances where you go into the, the inside of factory, they are like, uh, iced up and you need to shoot those entrances to be able to get in there. You see me here just killing some people, trying to look at the inside of Factor, but this is how it looks for now. I think it's an event that's coming, and I'll show it to you guys, and, and I think it is an event. I don't think it's a little bit of a remake or a little, um, you know, making it look, I guess, better or something, but yes, uh, sorry about that, I got stuck there. But yeah, so you have a lot of things that you can, like, break, you can land from the top, you have to break some ice walls to be able to get some stuff. It's so weird. I'll show it to you guys here. And I don't know if it's going to be permanent or it's just going to be like a, uh, just like an event type for like winter. Because you see here the glue airdrops. Uh, you see the glue arsenal, glue gadget, glue factory. Mr. Ragger's little lab mishap has transformed the factory in Bermuda. Equip a gadget to power up your glue walls with a special effect. No more keys are required, but you have to clear the glue substance in the way. Regular airdrops are upgraded with special glue tech. Smash them for loot. The breaker gets extra rewards. It's just like, I think it is a big event, but I don't know if it's going to stay permanently for factory or if it's just going to stay like that. Uh, we have, last but not least, I believe this is number, I think this is number 9 or 10. I don't know. It's either 9 or 10 things that are coming to Free Fire. Sorry, <laughs> I miscounted. So, of course, I let... Uh, a lot of you guys know already that Free Fire is collaborating with Blue Lock. If you guys don't know who Blue Lock is, Blue Lock is a Japanese anime, also a manga, where basically the purpose of the anime is that they're trying to find the best player to join the Japanese national soccer team for like the World Cups and stuff like that. So everybody here is competing. As you see here, if I'm not mistaken, this character that you see on your screen is Nagi. He is going to be a bundle in the game and Isagi as well. Isagi is the main character in Blue Lock. They are both going to be bundles in the game. Other things that's coming for Blue Lock is a Famas skin, Blue Lock skin, Glue Wall, a Vector, Motorcycle skin, Loot Box, Skyboard, banners, the blue lock uniform, which I'm kind of intrigued because they, they do change like two or three times. So I wonder which one it is. And of course you're going to get Nagi and Isagi as a bundle as well. 
So, yes, this one is coming. A lot of you guys were like, what happened to Naruto? Naruto is not going to be here till January. So, basically, we're having a double anime collaboration. We're having Blue Lock, and then we're going to have Naruto. I know a lot of you guys are excited. I'm a little excited. I'm actually, like, wondering how it's going to look. But, yes, this one is going to be coming as well. I will let you guys know more information about, about Blue Lock. Um, in the upcoming days, of course, members, you will get to see the blue lock stuff before everybody else and everybody else gets to see everything else. And that seems to be it. I'll talk to you guys next time and I hope you have a good, a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.